Okay, so we are going to focus on calculating the midpoint of a line. So take the line there beginning at A and ending in B, and they give us the coordinate points of A along 2 up 1, they give us the coordinate points of B along 6 up 5, so 6, 5. And if we are calculating what the midpoint is, the midpoint is exactly what you would imagine it to be. It's that middle point between those two points, A, B. So what is right in the middle? What is the coordinate point? In other words, the X coordinate and the Y coordinate for the midpoint between A and B. So if it's not easy to spot exactly what the middle point is from your graph, the good news is we have a little formula and this is in your log tables. So all we need to do is to be, under, to be able to understand this and fill each section in, in order to be able to calculate exactly what the midpoint is. Okay, so don't worry if it looks a little bit confusing. We're gonna do an example now and it'll make a lot more sense. Okay, so straight away in a question, the minute you realize they're asking for the midpoint, get your formula written down exactly the way it is in the log tables and then we are going to follow it so in this particular question it's asking me to find the midpoint between 4 1 and 4 3 so we want to find the middle point between 4 1 and 4 3. so the first thing you're going to do and you're going to do this with all your coordinate geometry formula is label your points okay and the way you label your points is we know already that the first value is always the value that goes along the x-axis and that the second value is how much it goes up or down the y-axis, the vertical axis. So in this case, this is my x1 and this is my y1, all right? Over here, the first number is always the value along the x-axis, how much to go along the horizontal, and the second value, as we said before, is how much to go up or down on the vertical y-axis. But this is my second x-coordinate, and this is my second y-coordinate. So when you're labeling points, always label them straight away, x1, y1, x2, y2. That's always gonna be the first thing you do. So now we know our x1, y1, and our x2, y2. We're gonna just follow this formula exactly. So the first thing you're going to do is your bracket. And the next thing you're going to sub in is x1. x1, in this situation, look over here, is 4. So sub in 4. Now, just as our little rule of thumb, as we've always had before with algebra, whenever you're subbing anything in, keep brackets around it. This will make sure that you won't make any little silly errors. It'll make you uh, able to double check anything on the calculator, especially when they get difficult with signs and negatives and so on. So next in our formula, we have a plus, so put that down. Next in the formula, we have x2. Well, x2 is 4, so sub that in, and again, brackets around it. Then we have a division line, so put the division line, and then we have 2. And that doesn't change, that 2 will always stay divided by 2. Because we're halving it, we're adding the 2x values and halving it, and we're adding the 2y values and halving it. And that makes sense in order to find the middle point. Now, comma in between, because this is of course a point and all our points have a comma in between. And next we sub in the y1, and y1 here is 1. Plus is next in the formula, and then y2 and y2 in this case is 3 and divide by 2. Okay, so now let's calculate. Open your bracket. 4 add 4 is 8. 1 add 3 is 4. Let that be the only thing you do in the next step. And now let's do the division. 8 divided by 2, open your bracket, is 4. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. And so 4, 2 is the midpoint. Okay, let's try another one. So this question is asking us to find the midpoint between A, B, where A is minus 3, 4, and B is 1, 2. And we need to find the midpoint. So pause this video 
and see how you get on with it yourself and then press play when you think that you have gotten to the correct answer or if you need just the first couple of lines to get up and running pause it later on where you feel more comfortable to continue to finish to the end so the first thing you're going to do always is label your points x1 y1 x2 y2 Now let's sub into our formula. Follow the formula exactly. You've got a bracket, then x1, sub it in, keep brackets around it, then plus, then we have x2, 1 in this case, then our division line, and then 2, comma, then y1, which is four, put it in brackets, then plus y2, which is two, divide by two, just like in the formula. Okay, open your bracket, do the calculation on top, minus three plus one, which is minus two, watch your negative numbers here, be careful, double check anything you need on the calculator if you have to, and four plus two is six, divide by 2 and so minus 2 divide by 2 is minus 1 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Minus 1, 3 is the midpoint. Okay, one last question. Find the midpoint between 4 minus 3 and 2 minus 3. Okay, press pause and see how you get on with this one. First thing you're going to do, as always, label your points. X1, Y1, make sure you label them correctly, X2, Y2. Now let's fill in the formula. Bracket, X1, which is 4, plus X2, which is 2, divide by 2, comma, y1, which in this case, minus 3, plus y2, which is also minus 3, divide by 2. Now again, be careful with your calculations, be careful with your negative numbers, double check anything you need to on the calculator. 4 plus 2 is 6, divide by 2, that's what I get on the top of that one. And minus 3 and minus 3. Okay, think of your number line. You're down 3 and then you're down a further 3, which means you're down at 6. Minus 6 is minus 3 and minus 3. And so now divide 6 divided by 2 is 3. And minus 6 divided by 2 is minus 3. And 3 minus 3 is the midpoint.